There are several options available so that you can customize your start screen. Let's take a look at some of the ways that you can make it your own. So this is a pretty bland and default start screen. I've done a little bit of customization, some of the things I'm going to show you now, but nothing too profound. In Windows 8.1, when you install a new application, you generally have to explicitly say that you want it to be shown as a tile on your start screen. And that's because of the all apps list or the apps list that contains all of the installed application and the unified search, which allows you to find an application by simply beginning to type its name. So because of that, if you want applications to appear, you need to select them and say, I want you to be pinned to the start menu. Once that's done, for example, our notepad will appear, but I don't want to scroll way over here to get to notepad every time I want to do it. So the very first thing that most people will look at doing for customizations is simply rearranging the tiles that are laid out on the screen. I want notepad to be closer to where I work most of the time. So I can hold it with my touch screen and drag it over somewhere else. Or if I'm using my mouse, I can simply click on it and hold it as I move it around and I can put it where I want it to be. Now, just like I want to add things to my start screen, I also may want to remove things. I personally am a pretty heavy Outlook user, so I don't use the Mail app much. So I can right click on it and I can simply say unpin from start. If I wish to, I could actually go ahead and uninstall it, but you no, know, I might want to use it for something from time to time. So I'm just going to unpin it from the start menu. Fair enough. I can also probably get rid of the finance uh, some people like to keep the store handy, some don't. Another thing we can do is we can take a look at some of these applications and we can make their tiles change. Here's the weather application. And so we're going to take a look. It takes up a lot of screen space because it gives us a lot of information here. But I can say, no, I want it to be half that size. It's got small, medium, wide, and large. So I'm going to take it down to wide. And you'll notice it changed the look. I don't have quite the same graphics. So you know what? I, I do kind of like that. So I'll leave it as large for now. But uh, notepad, well, yeah, I want it, but I don't want to take up much space. So I'm going to say it's going to be extremely small. And then I can maybe put it together with some of these other small ones, kind of make a little square here. That's the way I want it to be. Uh, maybe get rid of the gaming one, right? Click on it. There we go. And unpin it from the start. And then I can do things around. Now you'll notice there's a little bit of a wider gap here between these two columns. And these are what are called name groups. I can go on to name groups and I can name these groups anything I want. I can call this one important stuff. And I can call this not so much. And then I have labels at the top, kind of like a menu, but still fairly simple. Uh, another thing that many people will want to do is we'll want to be able to uh, turn off the distractions, uh, particularly, let's say, hypothetically, you're recording videos and you don't want everybody seeing what happens to be the sports news of the day. These are called live tiles and live tiles pick up feeds from the application and display them to you. So you can have that live feeling right there on your desktop. But in some instances, you'll find that either distracting or something that you don't want to have, and you can turn off the live tiles. Whether you choose to leave weather, weather's a live tile too, unless you turn it off, and then it just says weather. So many people choose to leave that on. Now, of course, you'd want to customize the weather app for your location, but that's customizing within the application itself. Turning on and off the live tile is customizing the start screen. So we can lay this out the way we want, customize it, change the sizes, use the name groups to label things like that. Now I'm going to go into the desktop and I've made one small change to the desktop. I've gone into personalize and I've selected a different desktop background. Okay. Now, if I right click on the taskbar and go into properties, there's a category under navigation that lets me change how the start screen behaves. You can say that when I sign in, I want to go to the desktop directly. I can use the desktop background, this on my start screen. So let's just take a look. This is what my start screen is now with the default Microsoft blue. If I turn this on and apply it, 
Now, when I go to the start screen, I have the same background. So that's a little more consistent, a little less jarring. You can do that as you like. You can also say that I want to have the applications view. And you come into this instead of the tile view. So you may prefer that. Another thing that you can do is you can say, I want to see the desktop apps first in the apps view. So I can turn that on. Now, not only do I get my apps, but I get my desktop apps listed first. Like so. More of an integrated view with everything all together. So depending on how you want it set up, you can find a way that will customize it to what you would like it to be. Here's our, our Windows Store apps are all listed here at the end instead of at the beginning. So it's Microsoft's way of acknowledging that there are still many users who spend a great deal of time in the desktop as opposed to the store Windows Store based applications and allowing you to be the way you want to be arranged to get where you need to be. So you can also get the charms bar and you can use the charms bar from the desktop to go back, uh, close this window, use the charms bar to go back to the start menu. You can use the hard key on your laptop, assuming it's a fairly new one, or you can use the windows logo on the taskbar, or you can use the windows key as well as hot corners and swap around to get to where you want to be. So there's a lot more customization you can do, a lot more control that you have over how your start screen is laid out.